Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 and our Frisian Coast campaign. Uh, we are just waiting for our two uh, duchies here to drift into the kingdom of Frisia. And we've got some uh, raiders here to uh, slaughter. And we can rank up. So let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty. Let's gather here. Thank you. Let's see, you're going to get out there on the 25th. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Let's raise them up. I'll get there on the 26th. There we go. Okay. Wiped them out entirely, and that means that the host is gone. Good. During my time doing penance, I have spent many long hours contemplating my carnal desires. Despite my attempts to stay true to the rule of St. Benedict, I can never seem to restrict myself around women. As I sit here in solitude, ignoring... That relentless heat in the pit of my stomach is getting harder and harder. If I find a woman to quench my lust with, I can focus afterwards. I swear I will not lie with another woman for at least three years. Um, no, I don't want to lose lustful. 65% chance of dealing with vice by practicing it moderately without getting noticed. Let's do it. This, this picture amuses me every time. I waited until midnight before I left my chambers and hurried, hurried toward her, towards the quarters of... No idea how to pronounce that. Sasepi, I think? She greeted me with the sweetest of smiles in her, and in her arms all of my wishes were fulfilled. When I returned to my chambers some hours later, the castle was still deserted. Now I can focus again. 30% chance that she falls in love with me. Hmm, she's 40. I apparently have a thing for older ladies. That doesn't look like she did. Alright. You get back there. Any other hosts? I suppose I can go get rid of you. I have a new heir. If your character dies now, you will play as Alhard Thankwardson. We have a son. Fantastic. I will make sure that he stays Frisian. How are we doing without everything here? Doing all the stuff that I want done? Yeah, it's fine. I am bent over the Bible, trying to make sense of an especially cryptic passage when a faint tap on the door breaks my concentration. I call for my visitor to enter. To my surprise, little Fulqui's pale face peeks through the opening. Father, why are you hiding? I miss you. I'm sorry, my sweet lass. Come and sit on my lap. Uh, 20% chance of gaining the kind trait. 80% chance of her opinion uh, changes by 30 or we could uh, study the Bible. I would rather get kind if possible. Yeah! Go 20%. Get the hell out of here. How many troops do I get out of that? 454, that's not too bad. My wife, Queen Ermacinde, has not been herself lately. I have noticed how she has lost weight and been overcome by episodes of intense fatigue. Apparently, the underlying cause is cancerous growth, which is sucking the life out of her. Oh, that is... that is unfortunate. Um, call for my court physician at once. Oh, you have cancer. You have mild illness. So I suppose that's something at least, but... After being skillfully treated by my co by court physician Chen and I, uh, my wife is feeling much better. Perhaps he is deserving of some praise. Yeah, sure, that's fine. She is not going to live very long, though, at this rate. There we 
go. Did not murder them entirely, though. There's a bountiful well of wisdom in the Bible. Today I have uncovered new meanings in several passages which I have previously never given much thought. I shall take these lessons to heart and carry them with me, no matter where life takes me. Mark my words, the Bible is truly, uh, the Bible is truly is a book of wonders. God has shown me the light. Your steward comes to see you one afternoon. He explains that he has devised a plan to bring in exotic goods by setting up a trade route with the foreign realm. This would, of course, require a sizable monetary investment, but the potential profits would also be great. Let's organize an expedition. I will buy the merchant ship. Uh, no, I can't risk them getting in the way. To foreign lands! I have spent the entire day saying prayers in deep concentration. During the first hours, I noticed nothing out of the ordinary, although at some point I lost track of time and entered a dreamlike state. There was nothing but the holy words passing through my lips, uh, and they rang true as the sweetest music. God has shown me the light again. Why is my plot not... Oh. Did you die? I uh, yes, I do believe you died of cancer. Good riddance. Okay, and that also means that uh, we'll take care of this. All right, so we're going to Pomerania. Your expedition has finally reached the realm of King... Too many consonants. Uh, your steward asks you what gift we shall bring forth as a token of friendship. A dozen strong horses. Mankind is unlovable. No more charity! Damn it. Maybe when I get another hundred gold, I'll consider uh, don donating to charity again, see if that does anything. Alright, so, you. You, sir. You have two sons. Also, one of your titles is elective. You hate my guts. Because you desire the Duchy of Flanders, you want to control the Duchy of Normandy, you want to control the Duchy of Orléans. You want control of the Duchy of Brabant, uh, Brabant, and you want control of the Duchy of Champagne. Well, good to hear, good to hear. Uh, let's see, you're Bedouin and Sunni. Let's send you a gift, 43 gold, ow be worth it if this works, though. Luxembourg. Six gold. Forty-six gold for three. Ah. But Garibald. Garibaldi? At dinner, you noticed King... Uh, the King of Pomerania's face growing red with annoyance as he glares at your steward. Uh, please excuse him. I'm still trying to teach this barbarian civilized manners. All right, this will be a profitable agreement. Today has been a day of new insights and revelations, which apparently I'm studying the Bible while on this trip, too. Uh, I have had plenty of time to think about my actions, my life, and my place in this world. Things I have never thought about before suddenly became so clear. God has shown me the light. Money is always needed. Gain 500 gold, uh, 150 prestige. Get a trade route. City tax, castle tax, tribal tax. Prosperity of your castle increase, uh, your capital and county increases, and other good stuff. Uh, let's see. I will reward him appropriately. Sure. Okay. So let's see. Donate to charity. 30% chance that I gain charitable. Only did my duty. I did not become charitable. It's unfortunate. Alright, you... Go with uh, heritage and assign guardian. The Duke of Benevento is Lombard. How did that happen? 
Duke of Holland. I suppose I don't need to do uh, that when they are Frisian, actually. Uh, let's go with stewardship focus. It's a peasant revolt. Right, you're Lombard. You might make an oak. No, you wouldn't. I hate that you can't assign a guardian when they're one. Alright, let's toggle him as special interests. See if I can check him out. And I missed him. I don't need you as special interest anymore. And I don't need you as special interest anymore. Need to pay a bit more attention to that, I think. My wife is pregnant again. You know, I think I have, as being part of this, I have a uh, penalty to my um, fertility. We are pleased with your progress. During the time you spent in contemplation, contemplative seclusion, you have taken a great step on the path to the of the rule of St. Benedict. I hereby declare your mission completed. You honor me. Thank you. Mayor Pierre approaches you with a and presents you with a request to buy a small plot of your land and brew. This is a hard decision to take since he promises to pay well for the land. Um, it's 150 gold, but castle tax minus 50% in brew. Yeah, no. Not for as much as I'm getting. I mean, there might be times when that would be worthwhile, but uh, not right now. Um. I'm gonna do something. Well, you know what? I could improve the ca the uh, hospital here, couldn't I? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. How much money am I actually making right now? Thirty-three gold. All right. We're in reports have reached you regarding your marshal, Duke Gerdeg. It seems he has been using your soldiers to extort money from the peasantry. You forfeited your office. I can imprison you. 60% chance. Come on. Dang it. Alright, need a new marshal. Guess it'll be you. I'll just make it you for now. Oh, for crying out loud. born. Excellent. Stupid raiders. Retinue, go take care of them.
I did not actually want this guy to uh, rebel, but, you know, it's fine. What are you gonna do, right? Holy cow! Uh, Mortain has died. Our Frisian. And this is going to be another county controlled by my dynasty. That's... That's great. That's Assault. There and there and there. Seventy two. Nope, cut you off. Okay, we have eliminated all of his troops. Offer peace, force demands, put you in jail. You still love me. Ransom prisoner for one hundred forty five gold. You go ahead and get back there. Uh, let's see. Going to pilgrimage. Sure. Uh, all right. You're out. Let's go ahead and get you. What the hell? Increased council power now. <laughs> be a loyalist. That's great. Train troops. There we go. Stupid dangerous factions. Who's in this one? Only three people. Benevento, Holland, and Normandy. Foreigner, stubborn, attraction to one-eyed, humble versus proud, crushed a major revolt, Have some cash. And Holland. Uh, you're a powerful vassal who does not is not on the council, so that's part of it. That would only be 28. That would not get you out. Actually, not even sure if uh, I got you up enough to be knocked out. Do I have any uh, minor titles that I could grant you? Not really. Well, actually, there we go. That should get her out. Also, why is it so... I mean, that's 1.7. 1, 1. Two K. 7. How is this at 96%? Oh, what the hell happened to my... What the hell happened to my troops? I don't recall losing that many. That does explain it, though. I must have uh, not been paying attention and and saw that, and, you know, didn't see that uh, there was someone in a county or something like that. I don't know. I released them too soon. Uh, you want to marry her. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think I didn't let time pass after this revolt ended. That is really frustrating. Uh, your marshal, Duke Gerdeg of Brittany, has put forward a plan for experimentation with new military technology, inspired by a supposedly brilliant inventor and engineer that he has recently befriended. All that is needed is a little funding. Eh, yeah, go ahead. You can have it. All right, we can afford uh, a little bit more here. Let's get another castle town. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. 
do that non non aggression pact. Wonderful. I'm starting to think Berta might fancy me. Make a move. Lady Berta has spurned my subtle advances. How could she resist my charms? Screaming Arrows. You receive a report on the outcome of the military experiments that your marshal asks you to sponsor. Apparently, a new kind of self-prepared uh, arrow... <laughs> almost said rocket, was tried out, based on far eastern models. Lit by fire, these arrows would scream and fly away, leaving a trail of smoke and then explode on impact, killing several of the livestock used as practice targets. Though of dubious accuracy and prone to failure in rainy weather, these experiments have still provided some valuable lessons. Excellent, 50 technology points. And my wife's pregnant again. Excellent. Oh, you've taken uh, Anhalt and uh, Weimar. Okay, good. You, on the other hand, are Saxon. Theodorotikin. That is, uh... Yeah, King, uh... Theodoric of Saxony died in battle against uh, Chief Sobieslav of Diamond. Alright, anyway. And it uh, looks like Germany took that one. Would you get the hell out of here? Not kill the host. I hate not killing the host. Seriously? You again. And I screwed up again. Alright, my liege, my mission to Rom has so far been a success. Uh, but you only improved relations with a bishop. Yay. I've received a letter from my fellow member of the Benedictine Order, Duke Gerbrand. Dear brother, thank one. Will you, as a Christian scholar you are, please offer me some advice on my poetry, or the attempt of it? Reading through the attached documents, there are multiple verses, all in honor of God. Hmm. I'm missing the more comforting aspects of faith. While well, I enjoy the metaphors, they seem a little forced. Writing is frivolous. And I go with the first one. I don't know what the difference is. I was beginning to think Dink, uh, Duke Gerbrand took offense to my comments, but today I have received a new draft of his work. I am surprised to find that his words really speak to me. Scribbled in the margin, I can just make out, I implore you, brother, bear with me. It is not finished. Nonsense. This is brilliant work, and the world needs to see it. I think the Benedictine Order will treasure these words. Um, preservation of poetry. Sure, I'll take some extra piety. Why not? What's my current uh, Paragon of Virtue? Piety of at least 500? Yeah, actually, that works out. He does have cancer, so there, there is that. Anyone else want to join us?
I'm flattered that you think the Benedictine Order could benefit from this work, Duke Gerberand of Holstein writes in his letter. Thank you for your support, brother. He continues before assuring me of the fulfilling touches he intends to see before the final version of the manuscript will enter the library. I am honored to be surrounded by minds like Gerbrand. We've become friends. And a son was born named Sjord. Excellent. Another son. A backup. If you, uh, if you will. All right. What, uh, what am I? What do I have enough on? Uh, looks like military tech. Go for cavalry. There's the uh, army there. Consumption is bro broken out and shticked. I hope it doesn't make its way towards me. That would be unfortunate. I'm pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Brugge is doing very well. People are happy, and the tax collectors are reporting record intakes. It prospers. Very good. Would you hurry up and get down here? This is really annoying. Okay, good enough. All right, we're coming for you. Son was born to that guy. My wife is pregnant again. Holy cow. And she's got cancer, too. Well, you know, honey, I just want to have lots of kids before I die of cancer. Okay, you're going down this way. I'll go this way. You can no longer ignore the irritation in your throat. You begin to violently cough. Alas! Uh, he thinks I'm developing consumption. Oh, great. Yeah, consumption is here. Alright, shut the gates. Seal it! In order to bring balance to your humors, he made you drink salty water to induce vomiting. It was very effective. I'm glad I hired him. Alright, Syracuse. These are dark days. My daughter, Prince Ermacinde, has been growing weaker and weaker over the last few weeks, and I have just been informed that her affliction is indeed consumption. Call from a court physician at once. Nope, help her any way you can. And I have chest pains. Alright, uh. Let's see, what is this? Health minus two, health plus two, health minus one. Let's give you thrift. Fatigue. I'm going to develop consumption, I'm pretty sure. Raiders have arrived in Iprin. Not a whole lot that I can do about it right now, because my army is all the way down here. Probably should... Split off my retinue and send them back up. I should have left my retinue up here. Peruvian Peasant Revolt. You've got to be kidding me. Blasted traitors. 
Well, at least they're slaughtering the uh, um, the Vikings. Salerno. Amalfi. And I do indeed have consumption. A court physician has come to see you and offers you treatment for your illness. My life is in your hands. It's going to go badly. He insisted the only cure for your condition was a naked midnight run. During the new next full moon, he forced you to undress and sprint through the wilderness. Do not stop until your legs give out under you, he yelled after you. Expel the evil through your sweat. And I got health minus three. Horrible mistreatment. And now an Orleanian peasant revolt. All right, I gotta go down here and crush this thing. Even more peasants have risen up. And I have died. Uh, lost my arming sword. King Thankward has given up the ghost at age 29. He died of consumption. Although not especially blessed, we hope Thankward will find peace in the afterlife. Having no skills with which to keep the realm together, his rule may be doomed to fail. Long live King... Wow. Alright, you are regent. It's okay. Wow, I lost everyone. Alright, let's see. Yep, get you on there. Marshal. Get you on there. Steward. No powerful vassals. Who's my last spy master? I don't think he's on this list anymore. Court chaplain. There we go. lot of people. Alright, um... Uh, let's see, I am over my domain size, of course. Uh, at least I am Frisian. I'm gonna go for struggle. Well, Mother should help me get, uh, some stewardship. Now, you've been appointed regent. What the hell? Well, I have a new sister, at least. Interesting that, uh, suddenly she became Anglo-Saxon. Need a new commander. Uh, siege leader? Sure. Fight to court. And now there's a peasant revolt for Zealand. Okay. Uh, assign commander. Or a point, uh, not guardian, point commander. You get in charge of that. And eight days. Assault. Assault. We're at 100%. Offer peace. Enforce demands. Thank you. Got some money out of that. No, you're not. No, no, you're not marrying the Queen Mother. Uh, in fact, matrilineal marriage. Uh, you're frail, but you are lustful, so here we go. Mother, have some more kids. Okay, so this army... 
I've got to get back up here. Let's wait there. Jeez, three peasant revolts. This is just ridiculous. Thank you. Spymaster, huh? All right. Uh, let's see. You can be Spymaster then. Oh, right. I actually need to have him do things, don't I? That would be a good thing. Study technology. Improve relations. Collect taxes. Train troops, because I need that. And perform statecraft is fine. I should go take care of this one first, just because it's a... Uh, well, it's actually, you know what? No, no, good. Get up through here. I want to stay in my own territory as much as possible. Brunswickian Civil War for elective. Not sure what happened to the uh, army that was there. You have been appointed as regent. You are no longer regent. You died of complications related to gout. I uh, need a new chancellor. I think I will make you chancellor. And need a new steward. going around that since the epidemic came to Bruges, we have seen an increase in cats. Our people are sure the cats are helping the spread of disease. No, the cats are not to blame. Okay, peasant revolt down here is done. Wow, you're an impaler. The council votes yes. Of course, now I'm negative on, uh... He was stoned to death, huh? Alright, get over here. Um... Nah. I'm gonna decline that. Honestly, I have no idea where this other uh, peasant revolt is, unless it's... Oh, they're both there. What happened to their armies? Ah. Complaints about the cats will not end. An angry mob has gathered, claiming the cats are the bringers of bad luck and cannot be allowed to roam the streets. Cats seem mostly healthy. Get rid of all cats. Uh, this is absurd. Go home. Try to explain the situation. Lately, Angeliadis, uh, Popet's daughter, has been showing symptoms of illness. Um, she has to go. Also, arrange a marriage, not to me, uh, Duke of Munster. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Salt, take that back. There we go, 100% on each. Well, you have consumption. And 
And I think you're about to have consumption, too. Okay. Uh, let's see. I can imprison you, and I don't know why. Oh, you're plotting to kill someone. How about you end your plot? Right, I need to uh, set the crown focus here. I can claim the barony of Lodi. Oh. Huh. Eh, I don't care. And there is France. Okay, that was not quite what I had hoped and expected for. So you have Aquitaine and Australia. You have a 16k troops. Okay, well that'll probably go down a bit, because it looks like you might have some raised. You have 1k. Uh, that will go up, but uh, that will be easier to deal with. Alright. Um, looks like Aquitaine did manage to get some stuff out of the Umayyads. Umayyads, whatever. However they're pronounced. Also, um, I am still your heir. Died before... Uh, her son died before uh, she did. That's very unfortunate. All right. Well, I'm not gonna be able to go to war for a little while because I'm a kid. Dissatisfied with my actions in the matter, the peasants have come with demands of not only the removal of all cats but also additional tax refunds as compensation for me neglecting them earlier. A just demand. You have no power here. Local tax modifier. Oh my lord. Okay, that's unfortunate. Drunkard of Normandy. End your plot. Thank you. Raiders and Breda. Alright, I should probably take care of them because that's a lot. I kind of want to uh, destroy them. Uh, increased council power. Did not wipe them out. That is disappointing. Eighty percent. Hopefully, it stays there. Now, Lubeck. Uh, hey, there's a peasant revolt there. Oh, and you know what? Unfortunately, uh, all I can go against France for is this county. I still have to go against uh, Aquitaine for the other counties that I want, which. Kinda sucks. Although you are down to uh wow, you are way negative on money. Um you have a much more reasonable uh troop count now. 
We'll keep that in mind. Uh, due to court intrigue well, intrigue well beyond your present ability to comprehend, your current serving regent has been replaced with another. Okay. Three percent. Your steward has collected a special tithe. Thank you for getting me some of that money back that I had to pay out to the uh, peasants. Ah, and I do have local tax modifier minus 50% as well. Only getting 13 gold. Oof. There's a lot of stuff that I can upgrade, but I'd rather get this castle up to the standards of the others so that I'm kind of... I, I like building them up evenly. Uh, wow. Sancho the Cleansing Flame. Sancho the German. Gent. Great, my total troops went down. Maybe I should uh, sign Guardian. I think I'll go with you. Did you stop dancing there? Jeez. Let's see, uh, Menhard of Chartres is the true ruler. I will not be blackmailed, let's see. Gelray, Orléans, Holstein, Benevento, Normandy. Oof. Okay. This is going to be Kind of a pain. Maybe, well, it shouldn't be too bad, actually. Uh, it's going to take a really long time for him to get up here, so I don't need to worry too much about that. You want to marry my aunt, who is possessed. Oh, this is a betrothal. Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. Actually, this gave us a non-aggression pact, didn't it? It did. Oops. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Well, I can always uh, focus on Aquitaine first, since there's more stuff there. Okay, let's see. Cindy has much nicer toys than me, and she asked me if I wanted to play with them. Yes, that would be nice. May gain affectionate. Emma Cindy let me play with her toys all day, and it was so much fun. Let's play again sometime. Large bands of rebels and opportunists are flocking to the banner of the faithless traitor Brindonis in Mortain. Carrion for the vultures. Okay. Get all of you guys together now. Um, oh, right. And you got. You know what? Just get rid of you. I need you. 
You know what? I think I want to take care of you guys first. Uh, you want to marry my mother? No. Didn't I marry someone to my mother? I thought I did. Maybe they uh, rejected that and I didn't, like, actually look at it. Many uh, lustful people. All right. How about high stewardship? High diplomacy. No. Oh, uh, strong though. Fertility plus five percent. Yeah, there we go. It's five k coming that way. Uh, you guys. Looks like they're coming to help, and we still have a powerful faction. Holland, Yiland, and Brabant. That would be almost everyone else, jeez. Still have consumption, ill treatment, and bedridden. Well, uh, I guess I'll go for learning education for you. Although the illness is gone, so I can actually uh, open the gates now. take that. After supper, me and Emgilberna were supposed to help do the dishes, but Emgilberna hid the dirty dishes and wants to go play instead. I have to tell on her. Um... Nope, I, I have to tell on her. Emgilberna ran away when I told on on him. The the other said I don't have to do all the work alone, but I was a good boy for telling them. I can spend time learning. Gain one learning. May gain conscientious. No, I want the learning. Let's take that. Decided to come all the way over here, which is fine by me. Oh, that was quick. Okay. Frisian Revolt is there. Let's take this all back. I did take that back, but that's okay. Let's head down here. Okay, now we should probably head over to Mortain. 
completely forgot about you two. Well, let's come over here, actually. Uh, daughter was born, and child lacks an education focus. Let's go for thrift. Seventy nine percent. We got some more guys over here. Let's head that way. Head in there. Okay, looks like you want to uh, surrender. You want to surrender? No, white piece? No. I don't think so. Amien, did you just get attacked? Defending against Count Louis of Amien and uh, Tuscan claim on Lombardy. Uh, as long as they don't hold anything, we can still get this uh, taken care of pretty quick. That is kind of a concern. Alright, we can go for either one of these. Let's just go here first. I have inherited the Duchy of Champagne and other titles from Duchess Weepke of Champagne. Alright, are you... You're French. You are Frisian, so that's good. All right, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and search realm, load filters three. Now that we actually are Frisian again, yay! Um, let's give it to you. Grant land the title. That's Troyes. Oh, council votes no. Okay, apparently I can't really do anything about that right now. Which is just going to make everyone even more pissed off at me. End your plot. Assault. Let's head over here. Assault. Gildolf of Nantesian Peasant Revolt has declared Peasant Revolt. God damn it. Being at war, I'm pretty sure, increases the chances of these things happening. Uh, the Queen Mother has used her considerable influence to step in as your regent. May the realm benefit from her wisdom and experience. I am actually kind of okay with that. Uh, now can I give this territory out? Did he just... Yeah, he must have just gotten old. Yes, he will. All right. I guess they will, I, I should say. All right. Uh, Grant landed title. Duchy of Champagne. No, they won't. All right. Um, but I can always use that to... Uh, grab more territory, so... Let's go take care of these guys. Steward High Chief Megan wants to hire ruffians to bully the peasants who are not paying their taxes. Um, no.
we go. Offer peace. Force demands. Let's go take care of that. I haven't taken anything yet. Ah, we're at 100%. Good. Offer peace. Enforce demands. Uh, I will gain 100 prestige. She will lo lose 200 prestige. I can't really afford to um, take any other titles. Let's see, who do I want to... Who do I not care about? Um, you know, whether they stay in my prison or not. You can stay in my prison. You're Dutch. You're going to stay in the prison. You're Lombard, so I kind of want to take your stuff. Opinion-wise, you actually like me the most. So let's release you from prison. Get uh, get that nine opinion. Why is my phone not alerting me when the time is up? Holy cow, it has been an hour. Alright, I'm probably going to cut this episode up in uh, post-processing kind of thing. Um, let's just uh, take care of these guys. Uh, you can be a ransom. Wait, no, you are... Uh, I want to I wanna revoke from you. Duchess of Normandy. Yeah, I'll ransom you. Holstein. I can't ransom you, so you'll sit in there for a little while. All right. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, we will go ahead and... Um, I'll continue to get older and hopefully not turn out terribly. See you next time, everyone.